Now has come the time to remove this travesty. <clears throat> Seriously. I can't wait to see what's underneath these two big cracks. This looks like body filler. Uh, poorly done body filler like the rest of the truck. So we'll uh, just use a heat gun. Heat up these uh, decals nice and slow. Just peel it off and hopefully it just comes off of these. <coughs> so I'm going to have to stand to the side a bit here. Woo! Alright, so there were decals. But it turned out that, that, that uh, gold paint was actually just... Like that gold stuff was actually paint. And it seems that this entire hood... <clears throat> it's putty for no apparent reason the tiny little speck of uh, corrosion here but like really light stuff and even the panel here super smooth a couple of those tiny little dents here I don't even care about <clears throat> so I'm gonna step out of the garage here <clears throat> I had my mask on <clears throat> so okay good news is the panel Oh, the hood looks good. Bad news is the entire hood is covered in fucking putty. Sorry for my language. Seriously. Uh, whoever was doing this body work obviously did not hear about uh, body putty being bad. There's about at least an eighth of an inch of body putty. Of body filler, sorry, whatever. On the entire thing for no apparent reason. The panel looks really, really straight underneath. Oh, God, that's freaking dust. So, yeah, that means that basically I'm going to be bringing that hood, the entire hood, back down to metal. It's going to be a lot of work. Luckily, uh, I got the sandy disc. I'm going to try to go closer again, even though it's freaking dust. <coughs> uh, these things are awesome. Uh, that whole area you just saw, and I still have quite a bit of material on the disc. Let's go again. Oh my god, that stuff. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, the uh, God. <sighs> shush. Uh, that I was so basically we did maybe a tenth of the whole hood, and each of those discs are about ten bucks though. So it's gonna be expensive. Uh, I just bought like uh, three of three of them, three extra ones. I've already gone through four. Uh, for the rest of the project, the, uh, the rest of the patchwork and stuff, but uh, they do a great job of not heating up the panel. So the the big risk with the hood is the fact that it's it's like a very long surface and it's very flat. So any heat that's a, whatsoever is gonna is gonna um, is gonna warp that. So uh, those discs because they're aerated and uh, they they don't like as long as you just put very light pressure and you keep moving around. Uh, I just keep putting my hand on where I was uh, uh, stripping, and uh, it's never like it's never uncomfortable for my hand. So I figured if I keep it down, the temperature down, I should be able to use the power sander <coughs> to strip whatever the power, the grinder, to grind away most of the paint, and then we can use the block sanders to kind of get down. Uh, once I guess uh, that's what I'm gonna be working on the next probably two days. I got all of this done. In about 30 minutes on and on one disc none of that so really not bad really not bad for 10 bucks so with the second disc I'm definitely be I'll be able to finish off the rest I thought I was gonna be on this for two days but uh, finally it'll probably be two hours Wow that's uh that was a lot of a lot of sanding so about three hours with the grinder, angle grinder, just to get most of it off. And then a good, I don't know, hour, I suppose, on the orbital sander with like a 120 grit just to get the rest of the small, like smaller stuff that's just like, you know, the little spots everywhere. And that also removes a lot of the scratches or most of the scratches from the basically 80 grit um, sanding disc. And then uh, a couple times over with uh, 320 sanding block by hand, uh, just to get, just to get a lot of the other one, the rest of. The, and I'm going to be doing probably sand, more sanding up to about 600 in certain areas. Uh, but basically, this panel is pretty much prepped 
for primer. Uh, I, I, I just put a bit of auto glass cleaner. I know that's this is not the product to put on, but I just wanted to kind of get it off most of the dust and the metal shards and stuff. So I'll put a degreaser paint prep on this thing before um, before I put any uh, primer on. So uh, I'm going to put this aside somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to find room, but anyway, I'm going to put this aside, and then I'm going to start working on um, probably the interior. I'll see, but um, most of this panel, I'm so happy. This panel is beautiful. There's no rust, no corrosion on like 95% of it, and there's a tiny little bit of uh, of uh, just surface rust right here, which I'll treat with the Osfo just to you know get into the pores. And body work... This is the only spot, there's like, it's just these little, these tiny little scratches. I don't have access to the panel, so I can't like fix it. But I'll put a bit of putty just, just right here and here. That's it. Just to smooth this out a little bit. I don't want it, I don't need it perfect. Just to get these dents, like I don't know what happened. Maybe somebody like, it almost looks like a hand. Anyway, so uh, there's these minor dents here. Everything else is like more than perfect for my purposes honestly um i'm not trying to get this truck to look brand new i'm just looking to, to give a good job good good paint job and that's going to stick and that's it so even if there's like a, a dent in the middle here I, I i'm not i don't care i really don't uh this is just a, like this is a little bit excessive so i'll take the time to do the putty sand it nice and neat and we'll fix that um so as i said next one is probably going to be taping uh taping off this entire section just like from from the the top of the uh windshield like and then encapsulating this entire dash area and then i'm going to start sanding uh just 320 this is a really good paint it's the, probably the factory paint and i don't have a problem with it sticking so i'm going to just go sand it down with 320 and then it'll be ready for primer once i clean it out um this stuff i mean i'm gonna have to take off most uh, all this red so this this might actually this outside cab or at least section of the doors might actually have to be sanded down to metal. I don't know. It's just that I know that on the other side anyways, just by just rubbing it a little bit, uh, this, like, obviously they didn't put any primer. They just put paint on top of paint. So that worries me for, like, everything, basically. Since they didn't prime it, why would I spend uh, $1,000 and put brand new paint on top of paint that wasn't primed? So, I mean, if I have to bring this all the whole cab down to metal, it's um, gonna be a lot of work. Cause the amount of work that just a hood took, oh, I don't know. Whatever, we'll do what we have to do. I ended up stripping the whole thing. <laughs> uh, this is pretty much. I can get the top here. That's pretty much uh, completed. You see, like nice, nice sheen. It's just dirty now. Um, I put the uh, Osfo everywhere yesterday to kind of treat it so it has that kind of sticky uh, stuff. Uh, I put most of the effort on, on you know, panels that we're actually going to see, like the exterior here in the back and the top. Um, like in the inner panels here, the box kind of uh, covers it, and it's just so much work. Uh, I'll put a bit more sanding into it, but I'm not going to go crazy on trying to get rid of all the little scratches. Like there's a bunch of little scratches here. I don't know, probably can't see that in the light, but... Like right there, see these little surface scratches. They're probably gonna come out. Um, also, the inner doors. This is just there's so many like nooks and crannies that uh, I just like I don't feel like spending thousands of hours. So I I rough sanded it. I've scuffed it. Uh, the paint underneath is is <coughs> this is hot dust. Um, I'll probably put a little bit more effort into it, but um. Yeah, I'm not gonna spend uh, another 30 hours. Like I got again, I think in the front here, it's all nicely uh, buffed, and on the top, and I removed that there. But anyway, I'll, I'll 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 put a little bit more time into it. But I'm not gonna. I I don't worry as much in the inner door, as long as I get a good surface for it to stick to. I'll be pretty happy about that. I've also sanded, uh, completely sanded or scuffed. You know. See all the scratches, like scuff the paint here with 320. Uh, so that should be enough. Like once it's all cleaned up, that should be enough for the um, primer to stick. So that there's there. So that's pretty much the cab done. Um, 
Next thing, uh, I'm going to start the fenders, and in order to do that, I'm going to have to take off the emblems to do the job properly. And I've been checking checking on online. Supposedly, uh, <clears throat> supposedly I just heat it up with my heat gun, and the glue will come off. Uh, the, there's no clips in the back. It's just like a, a a point, like a point here and a point here. I think there's like a little pin. So hopefully this will just kind of pop off without breaking it. I don't. I really don't want to break it. Uh, and hopefully, yeah, I'm bringing it down to metal, so it doesn't really matter if I, um, uh, if I scuff the paint. But if I end up breaking this, I'm gonna have to buy new ones, which, you know, whatever, I don't feel like buying a new one. Let's just get started. I just remember, like, that I don't think I mentioned this before. Sorry for the mask, but, um, the reason I'm stripping the paint off instead of painting on top of it is because when I started doing the hood, which is here, by the way, Nice, nicely sanded hood. I'm just cleaning out the back. Uh, I noticed that there was that there was a bondo or a filler over the entire hood, and then I started thinking about the other repairs that I did. I remember that there was like a lot of bondo everywhere I went, over there as well, over there. So I started testing around, and whoever did the paint job put bondo like uh, about an eighth of an inch everywhere on the entire freaking truck and that's exactly why i don't know if you guys remember but on the driver's side door down there that big crack and we were wondering what it was that's why there wasn't anything particularly wrong with it there was just a bit of moisture that came through a pinhole in the back and that's why it cracked and split. So, basically the entire truck has that potential. Any moisture that comes in behind, behind the pa panel and behind the paint will, like, just completely cook and completely destroy because this stuff absorbs water like nothing. So you have to keep that away. So, we're going to strip everything down. I'm already halfway, more than halfway, really. I got the two fenders and the two doors to do. That truck... The, the, the truck bed, luckily, wasn't done by the same guy. As far as I can tell, there's no Bondo on that. Just paint. There's some scuffs. Like, I'm going to have to repair the around the wheel wells in the back, but I'll kind of scuff it down with 320 and paint over it. So that'll be a lot less work. Same thing for the, for the tailgate. But everything in the front of the truck, the original truck, you see it here, coat of primer, the gray, then a high entire coating of Bondo, and then a coat of brown. So you see that here. That's the original paint. That, well, the original. The first coat of paint, I guess. And then, and then, then without even any primer at all. No primer. He just painted over it with, uh, with red. Just to get it out of the way. Which is why all the paint was peeling. Here. Like, I could just, I could scrape this stuff away in the doorways. And that's why there was no adherence whatsoever. Because he didn't sand it. He just painted over it and said, I'm selling this thing, so I don't give a shit. Anyway, we're going to sand it down nice. It's, it's uh, ten times the work. But I know, at least I know, I'll have confidence that the paint has been uh, directly epoxy primered directly to the metal. And then we have a nice coat of paint on top of that. And there's not going to be any problems. Oh, that's a nice fender. Isn't that a nice fender? This has been stripped. And sanded. There's these slight discoloration. I don't know what's in the por the pores, but I'm guessing probably the uh, once I get to the degreaser and the cleaner part, it's probably gonna remove. It's probably gonna remove whatever that needs to be removed. So this has been sanded uh, by the stripping disc, and then 150 orbital sander, and then 220, which is about as that's as as, as far as I'm gonna go. <laughs> Honestly, there's still some scratches. Pretty big day today. Uh, now that I'm done, not that I'm done, but I got a, a door pretty much done. Uh, I got all the main main surface and uh, the surrounding areas. Uh, there's a couple of uh, difficult areas like around the screws for the mirror and in the, uh, the pockets. Even just getting this handle off to get the surrounding was really difficult. I had to put my hand inside the structure and it was like, just, just, just enough space to get a wrench, uh, the, the wrench socket in into the bolt, the bolt, and and just get it out. 
Um, this is not this is not done. I still have to uh, do. Um, I have to remove the handle and get around there, and then I have to sand with the Orville sander. But um, I'm going to finish the video or the, the episode here. So we got both panels done. So the panels there, both panels, the doors. See that one's cleaned up even behind the uh, behind everything. Uh, got some. I guess I'm trimming. I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do there. I don't want to take off all of this uh, this stuff. Uh, I might just kind of sand closely. We have some more prep work to do later, but uh, and then I'm gonna and I still have that to scuff uh, afterwards. But for the for sanding paint prep, I guess uh, that's gonna be it. And next episode. We'll be cleaning and priming. I guess it'll be uh, the putty. Yeah, body work. So we'll be doing the body work on the welds and on uh, fixing all the dents like this little doozy. We'll find all the... Uh, we'll, we'll put uh, putty back on. Uh, the nice part about this um, sanding process is that we're finding... I'm finding the patches that were done before. See, there's a panel here and they actually put uh, fiberglass um but i mean in general it's not too bad uh the, the panels themselves are in nice shape just gotta be sanded down so cool all right well <laughs> uh, my glasses off also much dust uh so it's coming along a lot of still a lot of work to do a lot of paint pre a lot of a lot of prepping to do uh but looking forward to the body work See you guys.